Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video, I'll take you on a quick tour of my very favorite iOS PDF reader and manipulator, the Goodreader app. So there are a billion apps out there that will allow you to view and edit PDFs. I use Notability if I want to draw on PDFs, but if I want to interact with the text in a PDF, Goodreader is by far my favorite and has the most robust functionality that I have found. It definitely trades simplicity for function. So although it does almost everything, it can feel complicated and some functions are kind of buried. So it helps to have someone show you all the things it can do. So this is my whirlwind tour. Here we go. First, let's talk about getting PDFs into Goodreader. So Goodreader offers lots of ways to get PDFs into the app. I almost always use iOS's intra-app exchange system, meaning that when I'm in Safari and I'm viewing a PDF, I simply hit the share button and I choose to open the PDF in Goodreader. So this is available in Safari, email, text, Notability, and really any other app where you might be viewing a PDF. You can also import PDFs from iCloud if you have them saved there in advance. So Goodreader also supports a bunch of other options, including computer to computer and Wi-Fi transfer. These are all kind of complicated and I don't find them necessary for my level of use. File management. So once you have your PDF in Goodreader, the app has a lot of file management functionality. Since I use Goodreader as a viewing and editing app only, meaning that I export and store my PDF somewhere else after I edit them in Goodreader, these are not functions that I use a lot. Nevertheless, let me show you all the file management features that Goodreader provides. You can create lots of new folders and then folders within folders to store your PDFs. You can create a PDF from scratch or a brand new text file. So I'm not super sure why you'd wanna do this, but it is an option. In order to delete a PDF, you just have to swipe to the left. So to reveal additional uh, file management features, choose Manage Files, and then select which file or files that you want to affect. So you can see now that all of these new features are revealed. You can copy your PDF, you can move it to a different folder, you can rename it, you can zip it so it takes up less space. You can mark it as unread. The titles for unread PDFs are blue, whereas PDFs that you have already read are in black. And you can star your PDF with an array of colors. This is Goodreader's form of tagging and gives you a way to go back and find files later through this starred screen. You can protect your PDF with a password. You can copy a link to your PDF to the clipboard and you can flatten all of your annotations. So flattening means that Goodreader keeps all of your annotations, but it keeps them as images, and it won't allow you to edit them any further within the flattened file. So in order to find PDFs, you can use the Find panel to type keywords for the title. You can look at all of your recent documents, or you can find all of the documents that you have starred in different colors. Okay, exporting files. So this screen is also where you can find ways to export your PDFs or get them out of Goodreader. So I can't figure out why they have organized the buttons this way, but all the export buttons seem to be mixed in with all the other file management features. Email, you can email your PDF when you push this button. Uh, Goodreader wants to know um, whether you wanna send it as is, meaning that whoever's receiving it will also be able to manipulate your annotations using their own Goodreader app or flatten the annotations into images. Open in um, allows you to choose to open your PDF in another app. Export um, lets you export your file to iCloud Drive. And upload lets you upload your PDF to a file server like Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive if you have those connections already set up in the Connect panel. PDF viewing. Okay, let's go into viewing PDFs. Open up your PDF and you can see that all of your open PDFs are in tabs across the top of the screen here. In addition, you have two toolbars, one across the bottom and one on the right hand side. So these will disappear in a couple of seconds to give you more screen for reading, but you only have to tap the center of the screen to get all of those options back. Reading works intuitively. You just have to swipe to the left to advance to the next page, much like you would do on a Kindle or on um, an iPad. You can also use this page slider in order to get there faster in a long document. 
Um, background. You can change the background from light to dark um, to make uh, reading a little easier. You can uh, rotate or change the orientation of the PDF, say if it imported landscape style rather than portrait. You can change how you view your PDF one page at a time or two pages side by side. You can crop the pages of your PDF. This affects all of the pages in your document. So this might be useful if your PDF came in with margins that were really large and text that was really tiny. Lock. You can lock the screen so that you can't advance to the next page by mistake. Um, simply pressing the lock icon gets you back to normal viewing. And send. This button allows you to access all of the export features from the PDF view screen. So in addition to all the other export options that we talked about, you can print from here. And we're going to talk about the summary that they talk about here in a little bit. Text. Again, the difference between Goodreader and something like Notability is that Goodreader recognizes text within PDFs. In fact, by pressing this key, you will see all of the text in your document displayed as plain text. This screen allows you to do some interesting stuff like scrolling slowly at reading speed, or you can copy the entire page of text to your clipboard. So recognizing text also importantly allows you to be able to search. You can search for keywords in this text-only screen, or you can go back and search in PDF view by hitting the My Documents arrow. So searching will highlight your term in blue, and then you can move to the previous instance of that term or the next instance of that term using these find controls. So now let's talk about PDF annotation or editing. So this is where I think that Goodreader really shines. You have lots of ways to annotate your file, and you can get to those features for one of two ways. You can highlight the text that you want to affect, and then choose from the options. So like you can add a comment, which looks like this. You can choose to highlight, um, and then you can go back in and change the color of that highlight. Uh, you can underline. You can squiggle line. You can strike through. You can make an addition, or you can do a strike through with an addition. In addition, you can also add a bunch of different shapes, lines, arrows, boxes, circles, or even a free-form drawing. And there is an eraser to help you clean up your drawing. So everything else can be altered or manipulated after the fact with lots of different options. The other way you can make these edits is through this right-hand toolbar, which you can actually pin to the screen so it doesn't go after, away after a couple of beats. So there is one option here um, that's different you can bookmark a page. Everything else that you saw while highlighting you can do here, but the difference is that that option becomes persistent if you turn it on using the right toolbar. In other words, by highlighting text and choosing, you're really only affecting that text. If instead you choose the highlighting tool over here on the toolbar, then you can make a bunch of highlights on this page before saving them all. Um, the same with all the other text editing tools. The drawing tools, however, are a one-shot deal. After you create one arrow, you'll have to hit the button again to create another one. So now let's talk about some of what I consider to be the really cool features. Um, export annotation. So once you've spent some time highlighting and annotating the text on your PDF, you can export all of those highlights in an email. So this is what Goodreader considers a summary. You can do the same for bookmarks or for outlines, but outlines does require that your PDF already had an outline coded into it when it was imported. So I have a whole video showing how I export highlighted passages into a citation spreadsheet if you're interested in that. Manipulating pages. So this button has lots of functions built into it. You can delete pages. You can add new ones. This is how you add a blank page. You can move pages around. You can stitch to together two um, PDFs, they call that append. You can extract select pages from the larger document into a new smaller file. You can rotate select pages, or you can split the PDF into two separate files. So lots of very cool stuff that comes in really handy when you're dealing with PDFs, even if you aren't using the annotation features. Speak. So if you highlight a passage of text and you select speak, Goodreader will read it to you in a robotic voice. So I use this sometimes. It's obviously not as good as an actual person reading it, but sometimes I need to get dinner on the table and read a seven page PDF, and this allows me to multitask. And finally, link. So back here in Manage Files, 
you can copy a link to your PDF. So what this means is that if you are working on your iPad, you can click on this link and your iPad or iPhone will open up Goodreader and go straight to the file. So I can show you that right straight from this email. Just click on the link and voila. So I wish that Goodreader did a couple of other things like converting photos to PDFs and allowing you to create a table of contents or an outline within it, but it has by far the best PDF annotation functionality that I have found in an iOS app. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.